What's going on guys? Cap again, here with my fat girl chassis. Got it mocked up. This is just for mock-up purposes, guys, but it does run just like this. Basically, if I wanted to paint it and run it just like this, it would run, it would work. Uh, everything's in there. Everything lined up pretty damn good. I'm gonna say, Tim, you did a great job. Um, the one hole's a little off, but I actually just wallered out the, uh, the skid plate hole a bit. I might wind up trimming down the front of the skid plate with a Dremel. If you guys can notice right here, this dash bar, which is a beautiful feature that's on the real Fat Girl chassis, um, it's actually hitting the top of my transmission cover. It's slightly pushing the cover into this spur gear. I definitely don't like that. What I'm probably going to do is not try to bend this up, but rather just dremel the bottom a little bit flat. No one's ever going to see that. Hopefully today I'm going to check out a place to get this thing powder coated. That's, you know, I'll remove everything and, and be done. But... There's a couple little things I've noticed already, guys. Wheelbase will probably have to get stretched a little bit in the front and the back. I'll use longer straight lowers and I'll keep the Vanquish high clearance uppers. I may have to lose them if I have too much angle on my drive shafts, um, but we'll find out. That'll be down the line. I'm thinking 120 millimeter shocks in the back. I'm gonna go with the Blue Kings and 110 millimeter shocks up in the front. I'm thinking about mounting the battery in here probably use lexin or styrene or sheet metal or something to make a plate that goes here as long as it clears with the servo it'll be cool now i've got one of those rc four-wheel drive scale blower motors i believe it's rc four-wheel drive they go you know if i can fit that in here i plan on possibly running velcro on the batteries and just velcroing it straight down i think it'll work we'll have to find out if it fits the other thing i want to do guys is make sure i can try to fit a seat in here somewhere. I'm probably gonna have to use a plate or something to get the seat on and a steering wheel. That's at least what I wanna do, bare minimum for the interior. Toss around ideas of possibly making a full styrene interior and using some type of clips or something to hold it on. Right now the electronics are all just kinda of sitting here all loose willy nilly. I'm thinking about making a little drop box or something that's gonna go in here in this area. And what I'll do is you know, have maybe close the top off and have everything sealed up, but I'm not sure yet. Another awesome feature of this chassis that I noticed and figured this was what it was for, but after talking to Tim, it was confirmed this right here is made to fit with a Wraith um, anti-sway bar. So I may wind up doing that just for scale, depends on the appearance and things like that. But I wanted to show you that it in fact would run right now. It'll run. Um, the way it's set up right now, it's not going to have the most flex out of the rear, rear end. But even still, Large jumbo jar of peanut butter, huh? No big deal. I'm pretty set on these Rock Beasts. I think they look scale enough and I love the way they perform. I may wind up going with Rock Beast 2 as they're a slightly larger tire. I don't know yet though. That's something I'll have to consider down the line. I'm going to be getting wheels. I'm going to be getting a set of Vanquish knuckles and stuff to throw on the back axle for the rear steer. I'm going to use this STRC stuff for now just to keep costs down. On, you know, it's something I can add down the line. I'm not too worried about getting a lot of steering out of this because I'm going to have steering front and back. So I don't think I need too much throw out of each axle I can use each to steer the whole rig. But thanks for watching, guys. Still, like I said, it's a long road, but... It's actually starting to come together. So I'm going to see about getting this powder coated. Still don't know what colors. It'll be a surprise, I guess. Come check it out when I get it done. And uh, I'll see you guys on the trails. Take it easy.